Over the past 30 days, the application that I spent over 150 hours plus coding got a whopping 11 downloads. And since the start of the year, it's at 898 downloads and has brought in a grand total of $0 in App Store revenue. But here's the thing, I didn't build this app to make money from users or to sell the software or sell anything inside of the application like microtransactions or subscriptions. The way that I made money off this application was in a way that I never thought was possible until after it happened. So let me explain. About two years ago, I had this itch to build my umpteenth coding side project. Now this is a phenomenon that all software developers experience to start a side project that usually never sees the light of day, but this project was different. I was learning React Native at the time at the job that I was working at, and I wanted a way to sort of uh, put my knowledge to the test. And what better way to do that but by building something from the ground up. I've always used calorie tracking and workout tracking applications to track my calories and to track my exercises. So I ultimately landed on building this application that encompassed tracking your calories and tracking your workouts in a single application. And I spent over 150 hours coding that application. I built it, I even deployed it on the App Store, but then after that, it was pretty much radio silence. The application was deployed. I was the only user of the application. You know, if you don't market your application, it's not gonna get any users. I was kind of just sitting on this piece of software. I didn't really know what to do with it. And it wasn't until I saw this video from a YouTuber named Halden. They made this really cool storytelling driven video about this Python automation bot that tracked their YouTube analytics. And the video was super well made. It was excellent storytelling. But the project itself, the actual Python automation script, I don't think was anything like groundbreaking or revolutionary, right? He just was super familiar with the YouTube space and he wanted a tool that would be useful to him. So he documented the process and he posted about it and it ended up getting over 100,000 views. And it made me realize that you don't need to necessarily build anything that revolutionary, that novel, to get eyeballs on your side project. And like I was said, I was sitting on this project. I spent over 150 hours coding it. I was the only person using it and I didn't really know what to do with this project. So inspired from Halden's video, I started working on this video titled, this took me over 150 hours to code or something like that. Now during this time, I also had a brand deal that I needed to get done that was a perfect fit for this type of video. So I ended up working on this video over the course of a couple of weeks. And while I was making it, I remember I had this deep feeling of this is such a stupid video. It's just a stupid workout tracking application. No one is gonna care about what I built, right? No one's gonna care about this uh, mobile app. I genuinely didn't think that this app that I built was worth making a video about. And honestly, if it wasn't for this brand deal, expecting a, a, a video uh, for a deadline, I don't think I would have posted it. But I sort of had to because I signed a contract with this brand saying I would make this specific video and post this video. So that's what I did, I posted it. And to my surprise, this video blew up. And now it's one of the more popular videos on my channel. And the response was honestly very shocking. It was overwhelmingly positive. People loved the idea, they loved the app, and the coolest outcome of this whole thing was that it seemed to inspire a ton of people to start building out their side project that they had been sitting on. One of the top comments was something along the lines of, this really inspired me to start working on my own project. And all the negative thoughts that I had about building this project, how it was stupid and no one would care or be interested, was just totally wrong. And it was because of that positive experience that I got from that video it made me realize, again, that you don't need the most novel idea to build things that people are interested in. And from that video, I worked with other brands. I built out two more videos where I sort of uh, expanded on this app idea, one where I built an API that I utilized in the app, and another showcasing how I used uh, project uh, creation methodologies to break down the project when I originally started developing it. And in total, across all three of those videos, I generated over 500,000 views and combined ad revenue and brand deal revenue, it was just over $22,000. And I know what you're thinking, you're a YouTuber, you would have had all of these brand deals anyways. And I think that is true, 
I would have had these brand deals, but I can't say for certain I would have had these ones in particular because the way that YouTube works is that when you have a video that blows up, usually what happens is it gets you a lot of exposure to your channel, brands reach out to you, and they're willing to pay you a lot more money, especially when you have a successful video. So how does this all relate to you? I know I'm kind of rambling a lot and it might sort of feel like I'm speaking to just influencers here, but the thing is I'm not. And I think this is something that the everyday person can tap into. So am I saying that anyone can build software and regardless of having users or not, make money off that software by sort of documenting the journey. And that is exactly what I'm saying. Or rather, I think I'm trying to say that there are other ways to make money off the thing that you're building rather than, you know, the very black and white, build the thing, sell the thing. There's this idea of building in public. There's a ton of new YouTubers and influencers blowing up where they document the process of them building software or some sort of business as they are doing that thing. They're sort of building this brand, this identity around being open, being honest, being transparent, and being vulnerable about what they're creating and how much money they're making. And if you're able to get eyeballs on the thing that you're building, you can absolutely make money from just building things, which a lot of these building and public creators are doing. They're monetizing their YouTube channels, their X accounts, and they have a consistent stream of income from that alone. And to me, that feels like a new meta. It feels like something everyone can benefit from, especially if you're a new developer trying to break into this industry and build up your portfolio and build up your credibility. Because here's the thing, if you are someone who is self-taught or maybe you're a recent grad with no experience, there's a few things that you need to do. You need to build a resume, you need to expand your network, and you need to get good at interviewing. And to hit those first two points, what better way to do that than by building projects, posting about them online, and trying to develop a user base solving real problems. Now, I'm not just saying to make videos like me. You can post on X, you can become a LinkedIn influencer. You'd be so surprised at how low the barrier to entry to growing an audience on a social media platform like LinkedIn is and how incredibly easy it is if you stay consistent. And you would be even more surprised at just how many doors can open up for you if you only have something like a thousand followers on LinkedIn. And this is exactly what we're teaching people inside of my mentorship program, DevLaunch, which by the way, has been launched for over a month at this point. We've already helped one student land a 150K a year role, and we have multiple other students currently interviewing at companies like Amazon, Meta, and Uber. So if that sounds interesting to you, click the link in the description. But anyways, the formula for the thing that I'm trying to say is very simple. Build stuff and then document it. Even if you're worried that your project sucks or your code is bad, the reality is nobody cares. Like I made some very, very questionable coding decisions in the first iteration of State of Health, this workout tracking application that I've been talking about. And even though thousands of people have looked at the code base and hundreds have forked it, no one has brought up the bad coding decisions I've made. I've only gotten praise for that project. Now the plan is to fix up some of those original bad decisions and to make it more scalable, which I'll be doing in following videos. But the point is people with some sort of online brand or online presence are gonna have a significant advantage over those who don't. And you should really not be scared to build things or build a, a brand in the public eye because ultimately nobody really gives a shit about you, but in the best way possible. Nobody is scrutinizing you as hard as you're usually scrutinizing yourself. So this is something that I continually plan on doing throughout my channel. I'm gonna keep expanding on the feature set for my stupid workout tracking application and documenting the process, mostly because I'm really enjoying the project. I'm really enjoying coding this application. I literally use it almost every single day. I've tracked over 150 workouts on my account at this point. And sure, I might be the only active user right now, but my hopes with this series is to try to grow that user base. But honestly, even if I don't, I don't really care. I'm just building something that I'm excited about and I'm gonna keep documenting it. I'm gonna keep posting it on my YouTube channel. And I think the ultimate goal of this project is to hopefully inspire more people to do the exact same. Start building out this side project that's been floating around in your head for you know years or months or however long it's been, 
and do it in the public lens. Even if you think the app idea is bad or maybe has been done hundreds of times at this point, while that might be true, we all have our own creative twists and flares that we can put on things, right? And the reality is your idea might not be nearly as bad as you think. So please take that idea that's been floating around in your brain and start building it because who knows, it might take off, you might become a billionaire. Uh, and if you do, make sure you cut me off a piece just to like a million or two. Or if it doesn't make you a billionaire, it might just open up the door to very interesting job opportunities or work opportunities, which is the more likely scenario. I often tell people the best way to get opportunities is by networking. And I think it's hard to define what networking means. I think it means something different to everyone. But what I do know is when you put yourself out there, especially in this digital realm, this digital landscape, it can open up the door to meeting new people and so many new working opportunities. Now, another thing that I plan on continuing is making this code public. I feel like a lot of people are afraid to put their side projects out there on a public repository because they think somebody's going to steal their idea or steal their source code and then become rich off their idea. And I personally just think that is so stupid, especially most ideas that most people have, right? Because the reality is 99.99% .99 of the time, it's not the code that makes a product valuable. It's about the marketing, right? So I'm gonna to continue to ship features. I'm gonna to continue to push code to my public GitHub repository. If you're interested in that, the link will also be in the description. Feel free to completely rip off the app, steal the idea, try to sell it, try to monetize it, use it for your benefit however possible. I genuinely don't care. That's not the point of this application. That's not the point of this series that I'm working on. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up the video. Thank you so much for making it this far. If you're interested in my mentorship program, make sure you check out the link in the description. Other than that, I will see you all in the next one.